how does government and industry play together in the same sandbox of cybersecurity? You know, I, I get that question a lot because I have so many people at the same table. Again, that regulators and regulated, right? right? And, and at the end of the day, the risk is still the same across the board. You know, um, you know, our, for example, you know, energy, energy um, companies are don't want the energy grid to go down. Regulators don't want the energy grid to go down. Right. Um, the goal is still the same. And right. and the so, you know, incorporating cybersecurity into the culture of an energy company, um, whether it's being required by regulators or not, even on their own, we're finding industry is saying we need to get incor- this incorporated into our culture because we need the person to care about and learn and change their behavior to be more cautious online be more cautious about what they're putting in our system, be more cautious about what they're clicking to make sure that they're enabling multi-factor and those kind of things. So so it is, I think, um, it's a kind of a mutually beneficial mm. goal. And I think that's where a lot of our collaboration hits. It's, it's a mutually beneficial goal. Um, there's no talk outside of what our main goal is within our, our, our um, um, council. It really is all about that and everything else that, you know, is going on outside of that where they may be, you know, they may be at each other um, a little bit for right. um, just people put people. I'm again, I'm very lucky. People just put that aside for for the cybersecurity discussions and they just jump in and want to make the difference. So. Mm-hmm.